been eating more, putting on the weight, and that hopefully for him will make him stronger. Well, he is obviously much superior in weight to his opponent here, Tulio Pajeras, who I assume will have to use his quickness, his speed, his agility in front of his Brazilian compatriots. Yeah, he is a Valley Tudo champion, Pajeras. He's got a lot of ring experience. He came in here, he knows the type of people that he's fighting. He's got good stand-up and ground skills. I expect these guys to be, this fight to be very similar to our last one, except a little more well-balanced. By the way, Pajeras took this fight at the last moment, so it's, it'll be interesting to see what kind of shape he is in. As we get underway, Igor Voschekin against Tulio Pajeras. Pajeras with his backside to us right now. He'll work off the jab. He's the dark-haired gentleman, and he's got a good jab and a nice round kick, front round kick. These guys are both stand-up fighters, so I don't know if the, either one of them really wants to go to the ground. Well, nice round kick to the uh, lower leg of Pojetas by Vochekin. Igor is, uh, is one tough cookie, ladies and gentlemen. And look at the size and, and, and the thickness of his legs. Yeah, he's only about 5 feet 10, 5 feet 10 and a half inches tall, but he is thick and hard as nails. The guy's legs are so, you'll see him try to work that inside leg kick, nice kick. You imagine receiving one of those kicks from one of those powerful legs of his? That's got to hurt. Yeah, no, You can feel that over here ringside. Yeah, we saw him work in the bag, and boy, I've never seen anybody hit a bag as hard as he has. Now he's going to try and turn Pojetas into a bag and try and hit him as hard as he can. But I got a funny feeling this Brazilian, you know, the immense pride, I don't know, I, I just, it's not a walkover by any means. Okay. Although, you know what, again, the bigger names aren't here, and I applaud the Tulio Pajeras of the world for coming out here to fight arguably one of the top five fighters in the entire universe. Yeah, there was definitely some controversy with that. Uh, Federico Lapenda had agreements with a few other Brazilian fighters. Some people may have heard of more. I don't even know if they're really better fighters, but sometimes people just want the big... Pajeras takes his man down. Nice takedown. Double leg takedown. He took the bigger man down, and, and now he's going to, although I'll tell you what, a good strength move by the Russian as he locks his shoulder over his opponent's head and, and really can't do much right there in that position. Yeah, he'll try to keep him tight so Paletas cannot get up and strike. Paletas, again, a Brazilian fighter, we know he's got some ground skills, probably the better of these two fighters. His forte is Chinese boxing, but that encompasses so many different, different forms of the martial arts. I mean, he, he's really a very talented person. As right now, he breaks out of the guard. He's, it's kind of an odd situation. Is, uh, Igor is just sitting there and he takes a knee right in the groin. Yeah, beautiful Ow. shot that is allowed here. And uh, Paulet is doing really everything he can and working the body. But uh, Chechen will try and dig in that choke. It looks like he's not quite got it under there. He needs to get that arm a little bit under. He'll try and dig it in. He, you can see Vachechen working. Well, you take a knee in the groin, I'll tell you, it takes something out of you. Yeah, he gave up. But he gets up. Unbelievable. Back up to his feet. That was a total strength move. Paulet trying to get him back down to the ground. <laughs> Igor holding onto the fence. And a great knee by Igor into the midsection of Pajeras. Tulio hanging right in there, though, trying to keep the much bigger Russian against the fence there. A little try of a headbutt there by Voschechen, but really does no damage whatsoever. Yeah, you see oh, another knee to the groin as the referee says he really admonished him for it. Yeah, maybe he doesn't want him to do that. I don't know. It was kind of a gentleman's agreement. It's not on our rules, but... They, it, there's been a gentleman agreement that there would not be groin shots because really it's it's really unnecessary. Gregory healed to the back of the leg. What's 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 he trying to accomplish here? He's Paletis? trying to get he's trying to get the big guy back down to the ground where where size and weight don't make any difference because upstairs you can see that he's feeling the strength of Von Chechen. Down on the ground, you kind of forget about it. You, he, he, he was able to take him down, so I think he feels that he'll do much better on the ground. Well, in an American phrase, noogies. He's giving him noogies to the side of the head, some taps to the side of the head, and then, and then back comes to Pujeras with a nice headbutt. Yeah, he'll try, and you see he's got his hands wrapped around. He'll try and squeeze to the middle of the back of Vachechen and pull him to the ground. He's in a great position, but there's nowhere for Vachechen to fall. Are you surprised at all through our bouts so far this evening as you see some great knee work by Pojeras? And that just hurts, boy, when you get one right on the, the thigh like that. You, and he's taking them lefts and rights, and the Russian doesn't know where they're coming from. But are you surprised as the referee he's breaks him up? Are you surprised there's been as much stand-up fighting tonight as you've seen? Only the first bout really went to the, went to the ground. I'm really not, 
I'm really not. Uh, most of these guys are well balanced, but again, uh, the best guy on the ground here tonight should be the American wrestler. I think once American freestyle wrestlers came into the sport, people have said, God, do we want to really go to the ground? These guys have been training. Nick Nutter's been changing 20 years. He's, uh, uh, he's a star. He's, he's really, if you go to the ground, I don't even know if the famed jiu-jitsu will be enough to handle it. All right, well, you saw a nice round kick up high by Pujeres, but it was picked off by the Russian, who's uh, defensively, he's very, very sound. And I, I'm a little surprised that uh, Volchekin is not pressing the attack a little bit more, but I think because of the knees that he's taken in the groin and along the thighs, although there's a nice big left hand there, just misses its mark. I'm a little surprised he's not more aggressive. Yeah, he's, well, there's a couple reasons it could be. Number one, he's a very calm and patient fighter. He's waiting for the other guy to make a mistake. Number two, I don't know, but possibly the weight could be a difference. He's carrying a lot more weight around the midsection, as you mentioned, and it may be slowing him down just a bit. Well, it looks like both men, though, are in great shape because they're not breathing very heavily. That was my question about Tulio Pojeres coming in, taking this fight at the last moment. What kind of shape? And he quits. That's it. That's oh. it. <laughs> he's, he's a little, little fake out. He said, I wonder. I, You know what? what are, what's he doing? I really don't know. He had a lot of respect coming into this fight, told us he would take the fight. The fans are not happy about this one at all. Bob Chechen, it seemed in our eyes to be a very evenly matched fight at this point. Yeah. Again, Bob Chechen, his first fight, just getting loose. Polaris may have seen some of Bob Chechen fight, some of his fights, and really didn't want to mix it up too closely. I, I, I am stunned because the Brazilian was right in there. I mean, you're right. Uh, this was a very, very even fight, and I never saw a heavy blow. I didn't see anything that would indicate why Tulio Poetas would quit. But